Former Baltimore prosecutor Marilyn Mosby seeks to replace home detention with curfew due to new job. Marilyn Mosby started job as director of global strategic planning for undisclosed company, OCT-1. Former Baltimore City State's attorney, Marilyn Mosby is seeking a judge's permission to replace her court-ordered home detention with a curfew after landing a job that requires her to travel throughout the state of Maryland. Mosby was convicted of one count of mortgage fraud in February after she testified that she unintentionally made false statements on loan applications to buy two Florida vacation homes. In November, she was convicted of two counts of perjury by a federal jury after she falsely claimed financial hardship during the COVID-19 pandemic in order to withdraw money from the city's retirement fund. A judge sentenced Mosby to a year of home detention and three years of supervised release in May. On Friday, just five months into her sentence, Mosby's attorneys filed a motion to modify the conditions of her home detention with the U.S. District Court for the District of Maryland. In the filing, the attorneys ask the court to replace her home detention condition with a curfew that allows her to leave her home anytime between 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. This modification is necessary in light of a new job that Miss Mosby recently secured, which will require routine travel to varying locations throughout Maryland, the attorneys wrote. Without the ability to freely travel within Maryland, Mrs. Mosby will be severely hindered from doing her job effectively. Mosby started her new job as the Director of Global Strategic Planning with an undisclosed company on OCT. One, and the role requires her to oversee facilities that provide mental health, substance abuse, and traditional housing services to individuals in various locations across the U.S. The filing notes. The company Mosby works for is based in California, though her role is in Maryland. Under current home detention conditions, Mosby is restricted to her home at all times except for employment, education, religious services, medical services, substance abuse, treatment, mental health treatment, attorney visits, court appearances, court-ordered obligations care, or other activities approved by her probation officer. She is also required to provide a schedule of every movement she plans to make outside of her home at least a week in advance, and her attorneys say there is little to no flexibility for change. Requiring Miss Mosby to provide one week notice for every meeting and its details, which must be verified, will greatly hinder her job if not make it impossible, her attorneys said. In conclusion, it is imperative that this court replace Miss Mosby's home detention condition with a curfew restriction so that she can effectively work that least 30 hours required under the conditions of her supervised release, pay her bills, and support her family after the financial devastation that she has faced since her prosecution. Failing to reduce her hours of home detention will jeopardize her employment, her livelihood, and her family's well-being. Fox News Digital has reached out to Mosby's attorneys on the matter. Federal prosecutors filed criminal charges against Mosby after allegations that she claimed a pandemic-related hardship to pull money from her retirement account, then used the money as down payments on two Florida properties. Prosecutors also said she repeatedly lied on the mortgage applications. While Mosby's mortgage fraud trial was slated to take place in Baltimore, it was ultimately moved to Greenbelt, Maryland, because of concerns potential jurors might be biased by media coverage of the case. Once the trial started, both Mosby and her ex-husband, Baltimore City Council President Nick Mosby, provided testimony, with the latter saying he lied about their federal tax debt because he was embarrassed. Mosby told the courts she did not make any false statements intentionally and signed the loan applications in good faith.
but it was her failure to disclose the debt on her applications that contributed to the mortgage fraud charges. Prosecutors alleged during the trial that Mosby lied about getting a $5,000 gift from her husband at the time, which helped her get a lower interest rate. The gift is what led to the conviction, as prosecutors traced it back to her account.